If you wanted to do something big in your life, but you feel like you lack of confident, this video is for you. You see, confident is the key. It doesn't matter what you wanted to pursue in life, especially going on an audition. A lot of people failing the audition is not because they are lack of talent, but because they are lack of confident. So, in this video I'm going to show you 21 tip to improve your confident to the next level, to not waste it any of your time, let's get into it. Tip number one, correct your posture. If you look at confident people, it doesn't matter whether they are a K-pop idol, a millionaire, or a model. They have one thing in common, they have the same posture. A posture that makes you look confident and gives the vibe that you belong there and everywhere you go. Most teenagers nowadays have a bad posture because they sit too much. They sit in the class and in front of the computer for too many hours in a day. This creates a bad posture that makes you look unattractive and scared. This is especially bad if you want to be a star or an idol. Bad posture is a big red flag for beauty standards. It's even worse if you want to join a K-pop audition or any audition or modeling. So, how do you correct your posture? The first thing you need to do is to stand up straight and pull your shoulders back. This will help you align your spine and prevent slouching. You also need to keep your chin up and look straight ahead, not down at your phone or the floor too many hours. When you sitting and look down on your phone that put on your leg your backbone starting to bend bit by bit every day without you even notice, soon enough you can make it back to normal and everything will be too late. Sitting straight and walking straight will make you appear more confident and assertive. You can practice this posture in front of a mirror or ask a friend to give you feedback, give yourself a stretch or a straight sleep on the floor to correct your posture after one or two hours of sitting. Don't believe me but ask yourself if you find people whom has straight posture more attractive or people who look like this more attractive. So, change from now until it's too late. Tip number two, hang out with positive friends. Sometimes you lose confidence because people around you are so negative or normalize trash talking. They point out your weird look every time they see you as a joke, but that joke can make you feel insecure about yourself without you realizing it. Or you hang out with people who don't praise you when you look good. Sometimes it could be your family. Some family members never praise you because they feel awkward, so they choose to trash talk about your look or something that you achieve instead. It doesn't mean that you have to cut them out of your life to feel confident, but you have to communicate with people who are more positive and braver enough to compliment you. They can make you feel good about yourself. This is why is hanging out with positive friends important for your confidence. Because positive friends will encourage you, support you, and celebrate your achievements. They will also challenge you to grow and improve yourself without being judgmental or negative. Positive friends will make you feel good about yourself and your abilities. They will also help you cope with stress and difficulties and give you honest and constructive feedback. On the other hand, negative friends will drag you down, criticize you, and make you doubt yourself. They will also complain a lot, gossip about others, and spread negativity. Negative friends will make you feel bad about yourself and your potential. They will also make you more anxious and depressed and give you false and harmful advice. Tip number three, fix what you are insecure about. Sometimes you lose confidence because you feel insecure about yourself and you refuse to acknowledge it. You refuse to change and improve yourself to be better because you are too lazy and your ego is high up in the sky. You look at the mirror and you say you are perfect the way you are. I have to knock some sense into you that you are not perfect. If you are perfect, why are you not confident? So, face the reality and crave for change to become better. But how do you fix what you are insecure about? The first step is to identify what makes you feel insecure. Is it your appearance, your skills, your personality, your relationships, or something else? The second step is to accept that nobody is perfect and that everyone Everyone has flaws and weaknesses. The third step is to work on improving what you can and letting go of what you can't. For example, if you are insecure about your appearance, you can work on your grooming, your style, your fitness, and your health. If you are insecure about your skills, you can work on your education, your training, your practice, and your feedback. If you are insecure about your personality, you can work on your communication, your attitude, your habits, and your values. If you are insecure about your relationships, you can work on your trust, your respect, your empathy, and your boundaries. Tip number four, smooth your face. Your face is the number one enemy of your confidence. Don't get me wrong, if you are a normal person, you can do whatever you want with your face. But you watch this video because you want to improve your confidence, right? So if you have insecurity about your face, you have to smooth your face. It helps improve your beauty a lot more than you think. As you can see, most K-pop idols have smooth skin and face. We rarely see them have any pimples or scars. And if your face shape does not match the beauty standard, you can put braces on your teeth to fix your face shape too. As you can see, some K-pop idols look different than before because they put braces on. It's not because they had surgery at all. But how to smooth your face? What does smoothing your face mean and how does it help your confidence? Smoothing your face means relaxing your facial muscles and smiling gently. This will help you reduce tension and express positivity. Smooth 
smoothing your face will also make you look more friendly, approachable, and attractive. Tip number five, smell good. If you notice people happen to turn away from you or stand far from you, it might be because you are stinky or your breath smells bad. Sometimes even not smelling anything can also make you feel less confident when you stand near people who smell better than you. Especially when you want to be a star or an idol, smelling good is a big deal and it will become your identity for what you smell. Let's change your smell based on what you want people to think about you. But how can you keep your good smell? Why is smelling good important for your confidence and how do you achieve it? Smelling good is important for your confidence because it enhances your self-image, increases your attractiveness, and improves your social interactions. To smell good, you need to maintain your hygiene, use deodorant, wear perfume or cologne, and choose scents that suit you. You also need to avoid smoking, eating spicy foods, and wearing dirty clothes. Tip number six, talk louder but in a calm voice and facial expression. Talking is the most important part to show your confidence. You can look good and confident, but if you are scared when you talk, people will judge you 10 times harder than what you look. They will assume how smart or confident you are by the tone of your voice and the volume while you are talking. Talking too loud will show that you are insecure and scared that no one will listen to you, and talking too silent will show that you are a shy person. You have to train your tone to be calm and not stutter when you talk. Your facial expression has to be calm and relaxed like water. But your words have to be sharp and correct. Talking louder but in a calm voice and facial expression helps your confidence because it shows your assertiveness, grabs attention, and conveys clarity. It will also capture the interest of your audience and deliver your message effectively. You also need to maintain eye contact, smile appropriately, nod occasionally, and use gestures. Tip number seven, talk less but more effectively. Sometimes you feel confident and want to talk a lot to prove your point to your friends, your family, or judges. But when people look at you, they think that you are scared, that you are afraid that nobody believes in you and that's why you talk so much just to prove your point. That's why in a friend group, nobody respects a clown in the class or people who always yap about everything. Work on the subject that you want to talk about, find the way to talk less but convey the same meaning. Talking less makes people think you are a mysterious person and no one wants to mess with you. To not talk too much, you need to ask open-ended questions, give feedback, summarize key points, and pause frequently. Tip number eight, treat others as you want to be treated. A wise man said, treat others as you want them to treat you. If you lose confidence because a lot of people have beef with you or don't respect you or your idea, it might be because you don't respect them or their role. You might be a bully in the school who always talks trash about others and simplifies jealousy so that you can yap about them with your friend. Remember, the wall has ears, and especially the friend that you always yap with will lose respect for you sooner or later. Being respectful and supportive is important for your confidence because it builds trust, strengthens relationships, and boosts self-esteem. Tip number nine, be open to constructive criticism and feedback. If you want to improve and become something great in your life, you have to take criticism. Taking criticism doesn't mean that you have to accept that you suck, but take positive criticism that tells you what is really wrong with you and your idea. Being open to constructive criticism and feedback is important for your confidence because it shows your humility, enhances your learning, and improves your performance. Being open to constructive criticism and feedback will make you admit your mistakes and weaknesses and avoid being defensive. It will also enhance your knowledge and skills and avoid being stagnant. Tip number 10, work out and pursue a beautiful body. Sometimes you lose confidence because people at your age have a beautiful body. They can wear anything and still look good, and then you look at yourself and think why are you like this while you are holding a burger or oily fat food. This thing can make you feel uncomfortable when you go outside and lose confidence over time. Plus, no one wants to see you become an idol with that fat on your belly. Working out and pursuing a beautiful body is important for your confidence because it shows your discipline, enhances your health, and improves your appearance. To work out and pursue a beautiful body, you need to exercise at least three times a week, eat a balanced and nutritious diet, drink plenty of water, and sleep enough. You also need to be consistent, be realistic, be motivated, and be proud. Tip number 12, dance with clear gestures. It doesn't matter whether you want to become an idol or just a normal confident person. You can walk with confidence and talk with confidence, but you will feel insecure when you dance if you don't work on your dancing skill, especially if you want to join a K-pop audition. If you don't work on your clear gestures, judges will think that you are not confident enough to be on stage yet. Tip number 13, sing clearly and confidently. A lot of people mumble when they are singing because they forget the lyrics or they don't understand the language of the song well enough. So only choose the song that you clearly understand the language to audition. Singing clearly every word of the song can boost your confidence in your voice. Mumbling will make you feel insecure about the next word in the song. Sing clear word don't humble. Tip number 14. Understand the meaning of the song that you perform. 
Facial expression and body expression are important when you sing a song. That's why you need to understand the meaning behind the song, even if you don't understand the lyrics. It helps you a lot to make people think that you are confident and know what you are doing on the stage.